Tonight from Bronx Court in the MacArthur Center on the campus of the Masters University, it's NAIA men's volleyball as the number 10 Grandview Vikings are here to take on the number five Masters University Mustangs. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us, however you may be with us, wherever you may be in the world. I'm Dave Caldwell, so happy that you're spending part of your Tuesday night alongside us. This is going to be a fun match. Really looking forward to this one. These two teams started the season against each other. And in that match, it was the Masters in Des Moines that won the match in three straight sets. 25-22, 25-19, and 25-21 to as the lights go out as we're ready to introduce the starters for the Masters University in just a moment. Grandview coming in 16-5 and overall. 13 and 4 in the Heart of America Athletic Conference. The Masters 9 and 4 overall, 4 and 3 in conference. So let's go ahead and set the starters. We're watching the Mustangs right now. Let's go ahead and set the Masters starters to start things off. Nolan Flexen leads the country. I'll be talking about it with 418 hitting percentage. He's averaging nearly four and a half kills per set. Diego Perez will be the starting libero, the All-American from a year ago. Matthew Hamm will be the setter. Will Avera, the middle blocker. Isaac Seltzer, one outside hitter. Brett Norcus, another outside hitter. And Braden Van Groningen is the other outside hitter. Let's switch it over to the Grandview Vikings. They're coming to us from Des Moines, Iowa. They're going to be starting with Daniel Galili. Galili. 6'4", sophomore opposite out of Israel. Nicholas Lima. Eric Villar Cordero is the libero. Byron Valdez. Nicholas Vate, Danny Wong. And Z Zio Meyer. Meyer is the setter. Danny Wong, second team All-American from a year ago. Grandview this year, third in the country. 13 kills per set. They are also... 11th in the country in their hitting percentage at 286 for the Mustangs. They're averaging nearly 13 kills per set. That's sixth in the country. But like I said before, with Nolan Flexen leading the country with his 418 hitting percentage as a team, the Mustangs, second in the country, they are hitting 348. Grandview coached by Felipe Nogueta. He's in his second year as the head coach. 43 wins against just seven losses in his two years. And, of course, took this Vikings team to the NAIA National Championship one year ago. They actually successfully defended. They are now the two-time defending national champions. But for Felipe Nogote, Nog Nogueta, he did so in his very first year as the head coach. Last season, taking the team 27-2 overall their only two losses coming in conference play for the masters their head coach jared goldberg in his third season 25 and 22 three seasons as the assistant coach at harvard for both the men's and women's volleyball team he also spent time as an assistant coach at moorhead state and a graduate assistant at the university of mississippi by the way the delay that is happening right now is during the setup of the gym they forgot to bring in the ladder that's on the far side so case and chlorus yeah <laughs> yeah bringing the ladder in now now we've got it it was out in the rain jared gibson is our upper ref shannon macias is our down ref andrew owano and sherman lee pickerel are the line judges so we get, I don't know, that's crazy. You know, you spend so much time getting things set up in the, in the gym, and that's a, uh, that's a rather large oversight. I have never seen that happen before here. At, and I've been doing this for 12 years. It's Nolan Flexen, by the way, Nolan Flexen, Matthew Hamm and Will Avera. The last time these two teams played against each other at De in Des Moines, 
The Mustangs won it in three sets. The next day, they beat William Penn in three sets. And because of that, Flexen and Ham were the NAIA Attacker and Setter of the Week, respectively. Will Avera was the Conference Defender of the Week. So here we go. Braden Van Dronigan has got one heck of a cheering section around the country. And he starts to serve off, and he puts it in the net. And so the first point of the match will go to Grandview. Zio Meyer, 6'4 junior out of Wheaton, Illinois, transferred from BYU to become the setter here. Played in 25 sets last year, had 244 assists. There's Flexen off the block, and the first kill of the match Nolan belongs Flexen. to the Mustangs and Nolan Flexen. Flexen leading the team with 169 kills in the 13 previous matches for the Mustangs. And as I said, he's averaging 4.33 per set as that serve from Diego Perez goes along. And so two service errors to start things off for the Mustangs. Now Byron Valdez. And that one's going to go on. So we've had four points scored, three coming from service errors. Now Matthew Ham setter today. Mustangs are going to be running a 6-1 today. Matthew Ham will be the primary setter throughout the match. Going to the far side, and that's going to be Nicholas Lima, and that one's going to be out, so the point will go to the Mustangs. Lima, a 6-1 freshman out of Brazil. He's got 120 kills on the season. And now the Mustangs up by one here in the early going. Going for Lima again. That one's blocked at the net. Now coming to back to the other side to Galili, and that one's blocked at the net. And a whiff. The set from Meyer, a little bit too high. I think it was Lima on the far side. And he was expecting a quicker set. Came too high. Point Mustangs. Eric VR Cordero. That's an ace for Matthew Ham. Fifth ace of the season for the freshman out of Clovis West High School. You see a little bit of confusion. Coming backside to Galili. And that one's going to be long. And Galili is thinking that someone may have touched it, but he's not going to get that call. And then Felipe Nogueta is going to call timeout as the Mustangs have rattled off five straight points to take a 6-2 lead here in the early going. So the last time out for Grandview, they beat Missouri Valley College, the team that's receiving votes in the most recent NAIA Top 15 poll. They won that one in three straight sets, 25-17, 25-18, 25-19. Galili had 11, Byron Valdez 10, and Daniel Danny Wong had six blocks in that match. So... For the Vikings, they are on a streak. They have won the last three in a row. For the Mustangs, they had won two, but then they took on number one Vanguard last Saturday, losing in straight sets 26-24, 25-18, and 25-19. Flexen had 10, Seltzer 8, Van Groningen had 7. As a team in that match against the number one Lions, the Mustangs hit two. Oh, three. That is their lowest of the season. Again, they are number two in the country, averaging a hitting percentage of 348 over their first 13 matches. Of course, that's where Grandview will be tomorrow down in Costa Mesa to take on the Vanguard Lions, the number one team in the country. And the overpass, and Seltzer is there. Too much to handle for VR Cordero. So the point will go to the Masters. Isaac Seltzer, 6'5", freshman out of Santa Ana, second on the team behind Nolan Flexen with 86 kills. Seltzer had 13 against Grandview in that first match back on January 27th. And a little miscommunication as that time Lima connects, gets the kill, gets his first. 
into a side out, and the Vikings will be serving. Dalton Denclaw is going to check in to serve for the Vikings. 5'11 senior out of Lehigh, Iowa. He's got eight aces on the season. Denclaw and Meyer lead the team in most sets played at 70, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is every set that has been played this season for the Vikings. There's a back set to flex in, and he took a little bit off of that one. Galili pounding the floor in frustration, not able to get to it, so the point will go to the Mustangs. And now Nolan Flexen will go back to serve. Flexen, a 6'10 freshman out of Rio Rancho, New Mexico. He's VolleyballMagazine.com's number eight ranked player in the class of 2020. Quick set. And that one's going to work to Danny Wong. Danny Wong, as I mentioned earlier, the second team All-American, had 96 blocks, 33 of them solo blocks last season to help himself get to that second team All-American status. Now Galili, All-Conference last year. Back set to Seltzer, picked up by B.R. Cordero. Galili is blocked. Will Avera with that block. Avera. Oh, they announced they announced Will Avera, but it was apparently out. So Galili serving. Good serve. Diego Perez with the pass. Van Groningen leaning over. So an opportunity again for the Mustangs. Quick set that time to Will Avera. Avera makes this one count. 83 kills. He's hitting 480 on the season. Gets his first of the game. Now Avera back to serve. Avera, Avera, one of the captains, 6'5", senior out of Fresno. Second on the team, tied for second on the team with 10 aces. That one was a great serve. Back set and pounding that ball was Byron Valdez. Valdez, one of three players from the Dominican Republic that's on this squad. All conference a year ago, second on the team, 250 kills. He is tied with Danny Wong with 199 kills on the season. And an interesting, we had, I apologize for the delay, but one call had that as an ace, but then up ref Jared Gibson overruled that call and said the ball was out, so the point will go to Masters. And Ezra Moore in to serve for Masters. Back set to Galili, and that ball just barely gets over the net. Joust at the net. And that ball is going to go on the, the wrong side of the antenna. And the point's going to go to the Mustangs. Zio Mayer, the setter, averaging better than nine sets, nine assists a game. A set. There's the set. Oh, pounding it down was Valdez. You can see why he was all conference a year ago. One of the best hitters. So now back to serve will be Danny Wong. Bit of a homecoming for Danny. Originally from Campbell, California, which is north of us here, up more in Northern California. Right now, Shannon Macias is at the scorer's table, double checking some things. I think maybe Felipe Nogota, Nogueta had a question, so they're talking right now. Nogueta says, okay, I'm happy. Now Macias is going over to talk with Masters coach Jared Goldberg. Yeah, whatever it is, they've got it all straightened out. Mustangs up 11 to seven here in the first. Danny Wong to serve for the Vikings.
Brett Norcus has checked in. He's in the front row. Raiden Van Groningen back to serve now for the Mustangs. Van Groningen with four aces on the year. Good serve. Quick set. Nicholas Vate, 6'5 sophomore out of Santiago, Chile, gets that kill that time. I don't know if he was expecting the quick set, but it certainly worked out. And now back to serve is Meyer. On the line and good for the ace. Meyer leads his team with 28 aces on the season. As a team, the Vikings, 1.77 aces per set. That's 12th in the nation. That one's going to be long. And now Diego Perez will go back to serve. Perez, one of the better servers in the country. He's got 14 aces. Again, has been in 28 sets. He's been injured a little bit, but his aces per set at .5 per set is flexing. Gets another kill, his third of the match. But Diego Perez, 14th in the country in aces per set. All-American from a year ago. Quick set in the middle and hammering it down is Mate. Now Valdez back to serve. Catches the net. Perez able to get enough on it to keep it in play. Now Galili. That one's dug out by Seltzer. Here's Flexen. Off the block and good. Fourth of the match for Flexen to five-point Masters lead. Now Matthew Ham back to serve. Meyer coming to the near side to Galili. Too hard to handle despite Perez. It was Ham that tried to dig that out. And Perez, his effort to try to collect that one. Galili with his first. Is that right? Second. There we go. It just updated. Galili, Valdez, and Vate each with two kills to pace Grandview as Denclaw back to serve. Going for Seltzer. And that one went off the ceiling. Now, that's something that players who aren't used to playing here and Denclaw shaking his head. But the ceiling comes into play here in the MacArthur Center. It is low. This facility was not built necessarily for volleyball. And so the ceiling is relatively low, and players are told before the match. Ace. That ball, they're going to say, hit the ground before hit the floor. So that's an ace for flexing. But you'll watch this. You'll see these crazy bounces coming down out of the sky. And that's because this ceiling is low. And sometimes and often the ball will go up in there. That one was hit very long. Mustangs with four service errors. Excuse me, three service errors. Grandview has four service errors. Mustangs hitting 727 so far in this first set as Van Groningen winds up and gets a kill. That number's gonna go up, that hitting percentage. Now it's up to 750 for the Mustangs. Grandview hitting 400, very good. Mentioned earlier, Grandview as a team hitting 286, 11th in the country as Will Avera now in to serve. And that's gonna be an ace for Avera. As that pass goes errant, and a timeout called by the Vikings to collect their thoughts. For Avera, that's the first ace of the match for him. 
for the Mustangs. That is, I believe, the third ace of the match. So in the match so far, Grandview with 15 total attacks. They have eight kills and just two errors. So that's how they get their 400 hitting percentage. Masters have 12 attacks, nine kills out of the 12. No attack errors so far. And so that's why they are hitting 750. They've got the seven point lead here in the first set. The Mustangs in white on the right side of your screen serving is Will Avera. Grandview in all black with some red striping. That's the first block of the game, Ben Gronigan. And Brett Norcus combine on the block. What a huge wall those two just provided. You'll see it here. The set comes over to the side and the perfect wall. Danny Wong had no chance on that one. Valdez pops that over. Now here's Van Gron again. Finds empty court. And the Mustangs up by eight. And Will Avera continuing to serve. Now Coach Nogueta going to the bench and bringing in Alberto, Adalberto Gonzalez, 6'2 sophomore out of Diverge, Dominican Republic. Ace again for Avera. Second in this sequence for the senior co-captain. Mustangs up by 10. Oh, it just catches the top of the net. And both the teams just went, oh, wow, watching that one. That that actually had a moment on the top of the net like it was trying to decide which way it wants to come down. Point goes to the Vikings. Nicholas Lima now back to serve. And that one's going to go long. Fifth service error for the Vikings. And Ezra Moore now in for the Masters to serve. Masters leading... By 10 here in the first set. Mustangs ranked number five. They had gotten to as, num as high as number one. That was after that great weekend when they defeated Grandview and William Penn in straight sets, both matches. Took them up from number 11 to number one, and that's going to be another ace as Lima has trouble handling that one, and it takes us to set point. Mustangs with five aces here in this first set. And Nogueta going to the bench again as Brendan Edgington will come out and play. As he'll go into the back row. So set point. Blocked and point. Masters. Matthew Ham there with Brett Norcus and the Mustangs playing about as good as you can play take the first set 25 to 13 over the Grandview Vikings we'll take a break when we come back we'll have the second set for you
entire modern world has recognized and attempted to harness the power of media. We want to talk about this topic because there's a lot of misinformation out there. How do we function in a society when we can't trust the supposed facts that we're hearing and reading about every day? Well, how do we think through that as a Christian? How do Christians best interpret culture theologically and most importantly, biblically? You already know the answer. The Bible is the foundation for everything. This is mission critical. This is about the gospel. This is about telling people the truth and not misleading them. We have a responsibility to be a witness to the truth. We're always evaluating the theological ramifications of what we're consuming. We're not swayed by the world. Rather, we need to interpret the world by scripture. The Bible comes first, Christ's honor comes first, and then everything else follows. Second set about to get underway here at Bross Court in the MacArthur Center between the Grandview Vikings and the Masters University Mustangs. The Mustangs taking the first set 25 to 13. And they did it on a near perfect hitting. 769 on that first set hitting for the Mustangs. 10 kills in 13 attempts. No errors. That is a, that is practically a clean sheet. Practically a clean sheet. For Grandview, they hit 222. They were hitting 400 through most of that until the very end, so that fell off. Eight kills on 18 attempts, four errors. They had five service errors. Mustangs had four service errors. And the Mustangs finish off with a couple of blocks. They finished actually with four blocks. Two blocks, excuse me. Two blocks, none for Grandview. So a very good game to start things off for the Mustangs. Masters, nine and four coming into this match. Four and three in conference play. And when you talk about the Golden State Athletic Conference, for our friends around the country that are watching, especially those of you who are in Iowa, following along with your team, the Grandview Vikings, the Golden State Athletic Conference is very good. Four of the top six teams in the nation come from the Golden State Athletic Conference, led by Vanguard at number one, and then Ottawa of Arizona four, Masters five, Menlo six. So as we start things off, the Vikings on the left side, they're in the black with the red and white trim. That's Nolan Flexen with the hit, and that's going to be the kill for Nolan Flexen, his fifth of the match. Serve coming, by the way, from Zio Meyer. Now Matthew Hamm will go back to serve for the Mustangs. Meyer with the set. Galili with the soft touch. Now here's Flexen winding up, finds a corner, and Flexen continues to stay perfect. That is six now for him in the match. He is six for six, six attempts, six kills. Good floating serve from Matthew Hamm. Quick set in the middle, and that one goes off the fingertips of Danny Wong. I don't think he got that one the way he wanted to catch it. And it sailed off to the right out of bounds, so the point will go to the Mustangs. First three of this second set go to the Masters. Meyer back setting and winding up 
I love watching Byron Valdez play volleyball. My goodness, there is, there is a cannon underneath that shoulder for Valdez. That was impressive, and he's going back to serve now, talking to himself. I think he's pumping himself up. Boy, what a player. And he wound up to hit that one. He's angry with that ball. Now Flexen serving. Out. Danny Wong now takes the ball. He'll go back to serve. As rotating back in is Nicholas Vate. Coming out is the libero, Eric Villar Cordero. Cordero, by the way, I was talking, beginning to talk about him in the first set, and then things got in the way, the game got in the way, as that serve goes out. But uh, Villar Cordero, second team all-conference last year as the libero. Now Will Avera back to serve. Sixth service error for Masters. Galili now back to serve. Soft serve for Galili. Back setting to Seltzer and that lefty from the opposite side makes it count. Seltzer with his third. Seltzer hitting 750. The four Mustangs who have kills, Nolan Flexen, Seltzer, Van Groningen, and Will Avera. Flexen hitting 1,000. Avera, one for one, he's 1,000. Seltzer and Van Groningen, three for four in their hitting. Now Ezra Moore to serve. And that's been the only issue for the Mustangs. If you're going to try to serve and make it as difficult as possible for the other team to receive, the trade-off is you're going to have a few more service errors. And that's what's happening. We're seeing it on both sides. Both teams now with seven service errors as we're early on here in the second set. And a soft floater from Nicholas Lima gets the ace. 17 aces now on the season for Lima. His first of this match. In fact, that is the second ace of the match. Zio Meyer has the other one for the Vikings. Quick set to Brett Norcus. Norcus lost the ball. It landed right next to him. Now an opportunity. Back setting for Galili. And one of the Mustangs is going to go into the net. They're going to call Braden Van Groningen for going into the net. And that ties it up at six. Lima continuing to serve. Back setting for Seltzer, on the line and good. Now Braden Van Groningen back to serve for the Mustangs. Mustangs have some height in the front row right now, both flex in at 6'10 and Brett Norcus at 6'10. Oh, what a play by Valdez, popping that up from the, behind his back. And that's the first block of the match for the Vikings. Combining on it was Vate and Meyer. Might have been Meyer that got, that got his hands on that one. But that's the first miss for Flexen in the match. And it ties it at seven. That served by VR Cordero goes long. And so now Diego Perez back to serve. Perez started his collegiate career at Pepperdine, where he was the starting libero there. Came here last year. And that one is out, is the call. The hit from Valdez. But when Diego Perez came to the Masters last year, he was converted into an outside hitter, and why not? A 41-inch vertical. 
And then Perez got a piece of that one. And now there's a whistle. And it looks like one of the Vikings is in the net. And they're going to call Valdez, Byron Valdez, into the net. So the Mustang's up by three. Perez, by the way, as I mentioned before, All-American last year. And that's going to be, I think, Ham. Oh, no. I think Matthew Ham. Meyer back to serve for the Vikings. Going for Flexen. He's got it straight down. Nice play. I was a little concerned about that one because it looked like the set was a little behind him. Good pass, and you see Matthew Ham with the set. A little bit more behind him, but he was able to make the adjustment in midair and make it count three-point lead. Matthew Ham continuing to serve. Meyer back setting to Valdez, but there to dig it was Ham. Valdez winding up, goes off the block. And Will Aver was not able to pop it up to get someone else underneath it, so the kill goes to Valdez. He now leads the Vikings with four, Galili with three, Bate and Wong with two, Lima with one. And Valdez to serve. Quick set to Aver uh, off the block. Now Galili blocked. Going to the far side to Lima, and he goes it off the block. Nicely done. Tools that one off the block to get the kill and draw within one. Mustangs took the first set 25 to 13. Now lead by one here in the second. Here's Seltzer, soft touch. Goes off the fingertips of Danny Wong, so the point will go to Masters. Seltzer now with five. Had 13 the first time these two teams played each other in the first match of the season back on January 27th. Flexen to serve. Overpass, and Avera takes advantage of it. His third. small crowd here tonight it is spring break so most of the students are actually gone from campus flexing a miss hit a miss hit and a laugh otherwise usually the students really turning out for men's volleyball here in the MacArthur Center but because it's spring break in a sense maybe you could say Grandview gets a break because it's not as loud as Denclaw comes in to serve Back setting to Seltzer, blocked, and Seltzer pops it back over again. Going for Lima, and he gets it over the top of the block. Finds the back corner of the court for the point. Denclaw continuing to serve. Van Groningen blocked, but dug up by Diego Perez. That block is going to go out. Combining on that was Galili and Vite. They thought they had it. Vite, I think, in particular, bouncing on his toes after that block goes long. Now Will Aver will go back to serve. Will, the defender of the week, because of the blocks that he had against Grandview. And Lima swinging down on it, but Lima came down awkwardly. He's limping on the right leg. He's shaking his head a little bit, looking kind of frustrated. 
Meyer going over to check on him, making certain he's okay. Big serve. Goes off the ceiling over there and it goes the wrong direction. Galili with that monster serve to tie it at 14. Perez with the dig. Here's Van Groningen with the hit. Cordero with that dig. And then Lima, the block. That's going to go out. So the point will go to Grandview, and they take the lead. First time they've had the lead in a set since it was 2-1 to one back in the first set. So Jared Goldberg, the head coach for the Masters, calls a timeout. 15-14, Grandview with the lead here in set two. Tomorrow night here in the MacArthur Center, the Masters men's volleyball team will be in action once again. They'll be hosting William Penn, travel partner with Grandview coming out of Iowa. That match will start at 6 o'clock tomorrow. William Penn ranked number 8. So a couple of good matches between these two teams. Grandview, the two-time defending NAIA, NAIA national champions, they defeated Benedictine of Mesa, Arizona in the last two years in each of the finals. Mustangs have had some good success playing against Benedictine. Galili continuing to serve. That's a rocket. There's Seltzer with the hit. Overpass, Van Groningen. Meyer setting Galili back, back row. Meyer to Galili. Dug by Flexen. Galili, long. Best rally by far of the match. But the point will go to the Mustangs, and we're back at tied at 15. Ezra Moore in to serve. Moore looking for his first ace of the season. Excuse me. He's got seven. I was looking at the wrong one. He has seven aces. Lima off the block. Three guys up there for the block. Ham, Brett Norcus, and Van Groningen. And after the block went off of one of them, they lost track of the ball and it fell right behind them. Isaiah Kalima Izumi, 6'2 sophomore from Waimanalo, Hawaii, now in to serve. His first appearance in this match overpass that was Vite. now Van Groningen blocked Vite and Meyer there Vite is the one that got his hands on it it'll go down as an assist but still a wall Kalima Zuni continuing to serve Flexen from the back row. Oh, Says time to take charge. His seventh against no errors. From the back row. Everyone was expecting it from to go from the front. And here comes Flexen from the back. That's great communication, number one. To make that happen. As Van Groningen puts it into the net. and Back to a two-point lead for the Vikings here in the second set. 
Mustangs took the first. If you're joining us late, they won the first set 25 to 13 as Eric Villar Cordero back to serve. He's got 10 aces. Leads the team with 203 digs, nearly three a set. That's 15th in the nation. Flexen's first hitting error. He's going to ask for a tip. He's not going to get it. Well, Jared Gibson, the up ref on the far side, is now going to bring his crew together and ask for a consultation. Jared Gibson, the upper ref, Shannon Macias, the down ref, Andrew Uwano, as the point will go to Grandview. Sherman Lee Pickerel. Jared Goldberg getting an explanation. Flexen, great elevation for Nolan Flexen. He starts at 6'10", has that long wingspan, can reach over 12 feet in the jump test. He can touch over 12 feet. Diego Perez to serve. That's going to be an overpass. Matthew Ham out jazz, out jouse Zio Meyer. And the Mustangs draw within a point. Diego Perez serving softly tonight. Still dealing with an injury as that's a big hit from Valdez. You just get a sense that if Grandview were to go to Valdez maybe a little bit more, they might get something going. Of course, Valdez and Danny Wong tied for team high with 199 kills coming into this match for Grandview. So Meyer sharing the wealth as there's Flexen again elevating. Watch how high he gets. I am down next to the net and I could see his head above the net from where I am just off to the left of your screen there that's how high he gets Wong from the middle now Flexen off the block that one works Wong and Valdez combining on that block now Valdez will go back to serve as Lima will also rotate back in for the Vikings. Two point lead for Grandview. Flexen off the block and that's gonna end up about three rows back. Someone in the crowd did a really nice pass to get that exactly back to where the setter was. That was pretty impressive. Someone better check to see if he's got any years of eligibility left. Flexen serving. Down a point. Down two points now with that service error. And service error is kind of being a problem here in the second set. Mustangs now with 10 service errors in the match. Seven just in this second set. Dalton Denclaw back to serve. Van Gron again. Frustration from Valdez. I don't know if he's frustrated with himself or with his teammates because as soon as that ball hit, it landed. Lima, off the block. Back to a two-point lead for the Vikings. And Daniel Galili, 6'4 sophomore out of Shamrut, Israel. Interesting note about Grandview. 
of their 14 players that they have on this travel roster, eight come from international places. Good save from Van Groningen. And the dump perfectly timed by Meyer. You can only do that once or twice a match. And taking the Vikings to set point was a perfect time for Meyer to get that. Galili to serve match point. Rocket. Tried it again, but that time Brett Norcus was there. Here's Lima off the block, out. Did he touch? No touch. The Vikings really insist that there was a touch. But the officials are all saying no touch. And now Coach Nogueta is talking to down ref Shannon Macias. And that is resolved, so the Mustangs will serve. It is still set point, though, for Grandview. Ezra Moore serving. Back setting to Galili, out! Trying to get it down the line was Daniel Galili. And a timeout called by Felipe Nogueira. Still set point when we come back that the Mustangs need one to keep this set alive. So as we come out of the timeout, we are still at set point for Grandview. Ezra Moore serving, though, for the Mustangs. Again the dump, and the Norcus was there. The block this time works to, cons to get the set for Grandview. Nicholas Bate getting that block as the Vikings take the second set 25 to 23 to tie it at one set apiece. We'll step aside when we come back. It'll be the third set here in Santa Clarita, California. We all arrive with different dreams and passions and ideas. We want to make music and movies and scientific discoveries, to launch athletic careers and marketing campaigns, to study literary classics and engineering. We come to college to explore the things that drive us, the unique ways in which God has gifted and equipped us. None of us are on exactly the same path. But while there are differences in our goals and dreams, we remain united in our purpose, in our collective desire to glorify Christ and to subject all things to His unchanging Word. 
We want a true education, one that helps us understand the world the way God sees it. That means Christ is not one subject among many to be studied, but that He is Lord over every discipline and every thought is to be taken captive to Him. As we pursue excellence and prepare for life beyond the classroom, this truth remains. The question is more than what we want to be or could be. It is what we must be in order to faithfully serve Christ and proclaim Him to a dying world. An understanding of concepts and ideas is not enough. We need convictions that stand the test of time and relationships that challenge and shape us. We want to be prepared, not only for a career, but to live wisely in every area of life. This is our calling. So whatever brings us here, and whatever journey God has us on, our purpose remains the same. In all things, in every endeavor, for Christ and Scripture. Third set about to get underway here in the MacArthur Center on the campus of the Masters University. Grandview taking the second set 25 to 23 to even this match out at one set apiece. I'm Dave Caldwell. So happy you're sharing part of your sat your Tuesday night with us. Sorry, Tuesday night with us. It is a great match. I, you just knew it was going to be. You have Grandview coming in, two-time defending NAIA national champions, ranked number 10 right now starting the season as a number one team in the country and of course they should have been they are 16 and 5 overall one of their losses came to the masters in the very first match of the season mustangs had climbed up to number one have since fallen as they are nine and four and so they have fallen down to fifth in the nation but you knew that these are two of the best teams in the naia and so it was going to be a great match Now Braden Van Groningen to serve as we start off the third set with a service error, and that was a problem in the second set for the Mustangs. They had six service errors in that second set alone, four in the first set. And you know, if you remember, the Mustangs were practically perfect in that first set. They hit 769, 13 attacks, 10 kills, no errors. But in the second set, 23 attacks, 14 kills, five errors, so their hitting percentage has dropped down to 487, but Nolan Flexen continues to power it. That is his 12th kill of this match. Perez serving. There's a quick set to Daniel Wong, and too hard for Perez to be able to handle. By the way, just to keep with the theme, Grandview... 26 attacks, 12 kills, 4 errors, so they have raised their hitting percentage up to 273 for the match. As Byron Valdez serving for the Vikings. Here's Flexen. Ball was a little behind him again, but he's get it, gets so much height that he's able to reach back and direct that down, even though he didn't put a lot on it, but he was able to get the kill. It's 13th, and now Matthew Hamm back to serve. Meyer going for Valdez for the back row. Byron Valdez now with six 
Nicholas Lima leads the Vikings with seven so far in the match as Grandview takes a one-point lead. And Danny Wong back to serve. Wong with 22 aces on this season, third on the team. There's a back set for Seltzer. Isaac Seltzer with his sixth. Now Nolan Flexen back to serve. Flexen's had some trouble. He's had some service errors in the match. Four so far. Gets that one over. There's a back set to Galili. Avera pops it over. Galili again. Matthew Ham collects that. And we're going to have a net violation. It's going to be Bate for Grandview. Called for being into the net. So the Mustangs take a one point lead. Back setting to Galili. Matthew Ham with the dig. Seltzer the hit off the block. Seventh for Seltzer. It's a good hit off the block. Great job by Ham right there. You see that. And then Perez with the set, the bump set. And Seltzer tooling it off the block well. And Flexen continuing to serve. Good serve. Quick set. Dug up. Now Van Gronigan back on the other side. Too much for VR Cubero to handle. And the Mustangs have rattled off four straight to take a three-point lead. Ticks off the top of the net. VR Cordero was thrown off because of that. Really nothing you can do. Every player that is on the court, they've been a victim of something like that. Some moisture ending up on the floor, so they're going to find a towel to get to it. VR Cordero, the one that ended up on his backside, so he's going to be the one that's going to go mop it up. Five straight points, though, for the Mustangs. Nolan Flexen continuing to serve. And a foot violation. They're going to say that Flexen stepped on the back line. And so the violation and the point will go to Grandview with Galili serving. Chest going out. Galili, he had an ace written all over that one. He has been hitting rockets on his serves. And took something off on that one, trying to find an empty spot of the court. Now Will Avera back to serve. Out. Andrew Iwano right there, and it landed on his foot. And he is clearly out of bounds. Avera and head coach Jared Goldberg disagree with the call, saying it hit the line. Lima with the serve. Good serve. Winding up was Meyer, but Ham was right there. Now Van Gron again goes off the block, picked up by Valdez. And Meyer again winding up. Overpass Meyer, third time's a charm. Boy, you just got a sense that Zale Meyer, all he wanted to do in that sequence was just hit the ball. He's the setter. Three times he just wound up and fired. Getting a good laugh out of that one. Byron Valdez. Nicholas Lima continuing to serve. His Vikings down by two. Van Gronigan. Quick set. That was Vite. And then Lima, or excuse me, it was Meyer. 
Meyer thinks that he got there was a touch. The ball was out of bounds. So the point will go to Masters, and Ezra Moore will come in to serve. Looking for Valdez, and he mishit that one. Ezra Moore continuing to serve. Valdez off the block, but it's dug up by Flexen, and then the hit by Van Groningen goes long. Seltzer will rotate back in for the Masters as Moore will come out. And then also coming in, Danny Wong will check in for Vite for Grandview. And back to serve, Eric Villar Cordero. Seltzer from the back row blocked Perez there to dig it out. Now Van Groningen looking for the soft touch. Gets a continuation. Now Van Groningen again trying down the line. Goes off the beam. And that's, there's just nothing you can do. Everyone who has played in this gym, including the Masters, every match falls victim to that right there. There is just nothing you can do but shake your head and pick yourself up off the floor and collect and get ready for the next point. Van Groningen serving. Meyer again winding up and hitting. He is wanting to hit in this one. This third set. Now he's going to go back to serve. Meyer out of Wheaton, Illinois. Off the top of the net. Perez with the set. And then Brett Norcus with the hit. That'll be his first kill of the match. Norcus, known for his blocking, led the team last year with 86 blocks. Was actually tied for fourth in the conference with Will Avera, his teammate. That's going to be Vate. Vate getting that quick middle set. Hammers it down. Now Byron Valdez back to serve. winding up but going too long it's that fine edge that a server has to take accepting those service errors but there are times when it is just too difficult to handle here's Matthew Ham serving Valdez from the back row flying in beautiful play seventh of the match for Valdez he now ties Lima for team high so with the side out, Vite will rotate back in. Villar, Villar Cordero comes out, and Danny Wong will serve now for Grandview. They trail by three in this third set. Masters took the first set. Grandview came back and get the second set. Will Avera, his third of the match. Now Flexen back to serve. Mustangs as a team hitting 491. Grandview hitting 246. Here's Galili. Doesn't like the set, so it's going to be an opportunity for the Mustangs. Van Groningen. That's dug up by VR Cordero. Again by VR Cordero. Now Galili winds up, powers it through the block from Avera. And Galili gets the kill. Is fourth. And now Galili will go back to serve. Good serve. Back row for Flexen. 
Now, this is confusing. So Jared Gibson is going to bring his crew together because here's why it was confusing. On the pass, that one pass early in that, and we, won't, we aren't going to be able to get to see it again, but early on, that pass, Matthew Hamm was able to hit the ball back. The question was, did he hit it back on the right side of the antenna? Now, both of the line judges ruled that he did not, but Gibson is right there in front, and he saw it go on the, right, on the correct side of the antenna, so he was allowing play to continue. So Gibson is talking it over with his crew right now. And the point is going to go to the Vikings. Now Matthew Hamm is asking for an explanation because he's the one who had the ball. He went over on the Vikings side to hit it back over. He's explaining to Gibson how he did it. Now Diego Perez is joining the discussion. And Jared Gibson is saying, guys, okay, we're done. We're done. Now in the lower right corner of your screen, Masters head coach Jared Goldberg talking with Shannon Macias about it. Clearly the Mustangs disagree with that call, but that's the way the call is going to be. So now we get the whistle. We'll continue play. Daniel Galili serving. His Grandview Vikings down by two here in the third set. That's a back set to Seltzer. Seltzer now with eight. And Mustangs back on top by three as Will Avera will come in to serve. Back setting for Galili from the back row. Nice set. Meyer with the set. Galili with the hit. That was impressive. Fifth for Galili. Now Lima serving. Back set or back row for Flexen. Valdez, the soft touch. Ham gets a hand on it, but doesn't get it up enough to get it to one of his teammates. So Lima will continue to serve. Grandview now has climbed to within one here in the third. Back setting to Seltzer. Oh, and that's where the beam straight up above Lima. Nice play. Hit it back up towards the front, but it hit the beam on the ceiling and came backwards. It's just something you have to accept. Now Ezra Moore back to serve. Going to the far side for Valdez, and that one's going to go into the net. So the Mustangs with the field goal lead, 17 to 14. Valdez. He had to be very careful he didn't go into the net there. Back setting this time for Galili, dug by Perez. That hits the ceiling, so the Mustangs an opportunity to set something up, but dug by Lima. And in Galili, hammers it down on the nine. Nice hit from Daniel Galili. Now Danny Wong will come back in. Nicholas Vite will come out, and VR Cordero will go back to serve for Grandview. Down by two in this third. 
Back row to Flexen off the block. Point Mustangs. Flexen's 14th. Back on March 4th. Nolan Flexen 26 kills against the Menlo Oaks. That was his career high for the freshman. Van Groningen serving. Quick set, left-handed hit from Wong. That time the right-handed hit goes off the top of the head of Flexen, I think it was, and the point will go to Vikings. And Meyer back to serve. Still a two-point difference, though. Good serve. Goodness. Here's Plexen. Good hit. And one of the Vikings got, went into the net. And they're calling Galili into the net. So that's going to be the point, the reason for the point. Plexen won't get a kill on that. Now Diego Perez serving. Oh, and a swing and a miss for Wong. <laughs> Block him straight down. So they hit the kill for Valdez. But as the last time... Last couple times the Vikings were serving, they were down by two. Now they're down by three, 20 to 17. Valdez winding up and gets the ace. Oh man, that was nice. First ace of the match for Valdez. Fourth for Grandview. Masters have six. That one goes long. Now Matthew Ham back to serve. Mustangs up by three, starting to run out of time. If you are a Vikings fan here in this third set. Valdez flying in from the back row. Had to be careful he didn't roll over the center line. And a nice athletic play. My goodness, what a play. And Flexen. That is number 16 for Nolan Flexen. He is hitting 619. Isaac Seltzer has nine kills, no errors, and is hitting 643. So as a team, the Mustangs are almost at 500. They're hitting 492 in this match. Jared Goldberg, the head coach for the Masters, Well, so Jared Goldberg was asking about something and talking to the downriff Shannon Macias, and then there was a, a warning then issued to one of the Mustang players, and subsequently now timeout Vikings as they trail by four here in this pivotal third set. We are tied at one set apiece.
So as we come out of the timeout, Mustangs leading 22 to 18. Shannon Messi is still having conversations with Masters head coach Jared Goldberg. And they both come away smiling from that conversation. And now Matthew Ham serving for the Mustangs. Quick set in the middle. Danny Wong. His seventh of the game, of the match. While that play was going on, Jared Goldberg pulled his bench together and had them huddled around him. They were talking about something over there. Now Dalton Denclaw to serve. Down by three, running out of time. Mustangs need just three points to get this third set. And it's going to be an ace. Miscommunication that time by the Mustangs. Denclaw continuing to serve. Flex in. He's got 17 in this match. And now he'll go back to serve. Watch Flex and look at the height he gets. And is able to hit straight down. Often you'll see him hitting down onto that 10-foot line. Now flexing serving. Good serve. Lima. Back row flexing. Why did he wind up for that one? He soared through the air to collect that one. And I think they're going to call an over against the Mustangs. It may have been that he launched on the line or maybe over the line. But an illegal, an illegal back row attack. So the point goes to Grandview. Galili serving down by two. On the line and they're down by one. Look out, here come the Vikings. Timeout Mustangs. The Vikings, as we come out of the timeout, have scored the last two points. They're within one, 23-22 here in the third. Daniel Galili serving with a scream. Back set to Seltzer. Blocked, picked up by the Mustangs. And that one is not going to make it over. We're tied at 23. Galili to serve. Flexin. 
directing it. Galili can't handle it. Set point now for the Mustangs. Some moisture got on the floor. So Zeo Meyer will work to clean it up. Aber will go back to serve, looking to secure this third set in favor of the Masters. Good serve. Lima blocked out. We're tied. Got to win by two. Now Lima to serve. Lima with nine kills. Valdez with nine. Overpass. Winding up is Valdez. Oh, baby. He's got some power under that shoulder. Now the set point goes to Grandview. Back setting to Seltzer, block, lands in, point Masters. Tied at 25, Ezra Moore in to serve. Ezra Moore, the senior. This program has been in existence, and it's, this is its fourth year, and Ezra Moore has been a mainstay in all four years. Valdez blocked, dug by Moore, kept it alive. Quick set in the middle, that block goes out of bounds, point Grandview. Now Wong will come in to be the middle blocker. Nicholas Vite comes out. Back to serve Eric Villar Cordero at set point again. And now, discussion among the officials. Shannon Macias is coming over to talk to Jared Gibson. So whatever the discussion was, they have resolved. The Cordero serving. Quick set to Norcus. Blocked. Oh, Matthew Ham, a great time to bring out the dump. A little more moisture back on the floor for Grandview, so they're going to try to clean that up. In the meantime, Braden Van Groningen will go back to serve. And we're back ready to ready to play. Tied at 26. Overpass. Mustang's opportunity. Looking for Flexen. On the line. Mustang's now at set point. Flexen's 19th. Felipe Nogueira says that one was a foot outside, but not able to change the call so he calls a timeout instead Mustangs took the first set 25 to 13 Grandview came back for the second 25 23 and here we are 27 26 Masters with that one point lead and at set point in the third
Masters at set point, 27-26. Braden Van Groningen to serve. Flex in. Point, Mustangs set. Mustangs, they take a two to one lead. They win it 28 to 26. Fourth set when we come back. dominion over it. At the Masters University, we see engineering as a clear fulfillment of that command. Our students learn to design, apply, and advance technology for the good of their fellow man and the glory of the Creator. We don't just develop engineers. We equip leaders to engage world-changing technology through the lens of unchanging truth. After graduation, our mechanical engineers will design car engines, satellites, and robots. Machines that increase productivity and raise standards of living. Our electrical engineers will develop technology that connects us, from the cell phones in our hands to the power grids in our communities. And our computer engineers will make faster, more efficient hardware for both the workplace and home. So come to the Master's University, study engineering, and be equipped to fulfill the Creator's mandate. Subdue the earth and have dominion over it. Well, as we're ready for the fourth set to get underway, Mustangs with a two sets to one lead. And that third set was an absolute thriller. Was it a backbreaker for Grandview? Was it a momentum builder for the Mustangs? We'll see. 
They win it, Mustangs win it 28 to 26. Now Grandview on the left side of your screen, wearing black with red and white trim. And Daniel Galili, or excuse me, that's Zale Meyer serving. Flexen starts off this, this fourth set. And that one, it goes off of one of the Vikings. And so it will be a Mustang point. Flexen now with 20 kills. Hitting 615. That's Vite. Fourth of the match for Nicholas Vite. Mustangs hitting 487 in the first three sets. Grandview hitting 298. Valdez with the serve. Oh, a little too high for Will Avera. Matthew Ham immediately, the setter for the Mustangs, immediately goes to Will Avera saying, that was my fault. I didn't get that right. So they're encouraging each other. They're okay. Moving on. That one's long. Mustangs had two blocks in the first set. They haven't had a single block since. Not in the second set, not in the third set. Meantime, Grandview did not have a block at all in that first set. And since then, they have picked up four. Here's Galili. They're going to say that one's out. Point Masters. Matthew Ham serving. Mustangs up by one. Short serve. Quick set to Wong. Danny Wong. Now with nine. We talked about it, how Byron Valdez and Danny Wong coming into this match. Team high, 199 kills on the season. Valdez with 10. Wong with nine in this one. Lima also with nine. And Wong now serving. Good serve right at Braden Van Groningen. Here's Flexen hitting straight down. No, I don't care who you are. It's going to be practically impossible to defend against a shot like that. Now Flexen to serve. Good serve. Goes off the ceiling and comes straight back down. That should be an ace for Flexen. Three aces on the night for Flexen, and then there's a service error. Flexen had four service errors in the first set, only one, now two since then. So his serving has certainly improved. So let's watch the 22 kills. His career high is 26. And who knows how much more volleyball we have in front of us tonight. Van Groningen's hit goes long. So point goes to the Vikings. We're tied at five in the fourth. Galili with the serve. Galili's got a pair of aces tonight. And that one goes wide left. Actually hit the antenna. Now Avera back to serve. Avera's got a pair of aces. Seven aces for the Mustangs here tonight. Lima blocked straight down. There's a block. Seltzer was there. Brett Norcus was there. First block, as I mentioned, since the first set. Look at that ball come straight down. That's a great angle on that. As you can see it coming clearly down on the Grandview side. Lima just popping it over. Now quick set to Van Gron again. And he, he played with that ball as it was coming down. He didn't touch it, but he moved his hand underneath it to then work the ball off the block. That was a nice, such a nice play from Braden Van Groningen. Oh, 
Lima out. So the Mustangs have rattled off four straight points here in this fourth set. And now a timeout is going to be called by Coach Nogueira. Mustangs with 47 kills in the match so far compared to Grandview's 40. Masters with nine attack errors. 16 errors for the Vikings. So the hitting percentage for Masters, 469. Grandview, 267. Will Avera serving? Masters have scored the last four straight points to take a four-point lead in this fourth set. Valdez with the hit, but that one's going to go out. Adalberto Gonzalez has checked into the match for Grandview, but going back to serve right now will be Nicholas Lima. Back set to Seltzer. Seltzer. Seltzer now with 12. Now we got to start watching for Isaac Seltzer's career high. The very first collegiate match for Isaac Seltzer this past season. It was against this team. And Isaac Seltzer had a career high 13 kills. He is sitting at 12 right now. Quick set, and that's not going to work. The set coming from Gonzalez, trying to feed it to Vite, and it was a little bit too low for Vite. So Ezra Moore continuing to serve. Masters now up by five. They lead it two sets to one. Valdez winding up and hitting the line. Good set that time from Gonzalez. If you're wondering, Meyer is still in the game. He has been the primary setter, but Gonzalez in the last two possessions, last two rounds sequences for the Vikings has been doing the setting. There's Flexen out of the back row. Goes off the block. But I think they're going to call another illegal back row attack, and the Mustangs can't believe it. In fact, I'm reading Nolan Flexen's lips as he came over to Shannon Macias. Said, how far over did I go? And Macias could not have been more than a few inches, and that was all she gave. Nolan accepted that. VR Cordero serving, and that's going to be an, an ace for VR Cordero. First of the night for Eric VR Cordero. Now 11 on the season. Valdez winding up off the block. Valdez now with 13 to lead Grandview. VR Cordero continuing to serve.
Back setting. That was Meyer. Myers made that transition to hitter. And the second set, they're going to call a double hit as that ball came spinning up off the setter's hands. So the point goes to the Mustangs. They are up by two. Braden Van Gronen again to serve. Valdez off the block. That one ends up about six rows back. 14 now for Byron Valdez. Meyer to serve for Grandview. Down by one in this fourth. In the third set, they were down by as much as four. Often it was three or four, then two. Joust at the Nets. An overpass. Here's Flexen hitting straight down, and it goes off of Danny Wong. Danny Wong just got himself a facial. Compliments of Nolan Flexen. That one hit his eye. So a quick timeout. Make certain that he's okay. Shannon Macias having a conversation with Danny Wong. And I think they're actually going to ask for a trainer. Erica Fry from the Masters staff coming over. And it might be some blood in, in the nose, but just double checking. A lot of bravery going up to try to block one of those hits from Flexen. Flexen then going over to Danny Wong and making certain he's okay. And they're going to shake hands. I love it. I love it. Well done, both of you young men. And that time, Valdez wants to repay it. This goes up and off of the block of Flexen. So the point back to the Vikings and Valdez back to serve, down by one. Out. My point that I was making earlier about how the Vikings were consistently down by two or three points throughout that third set, they were able to battle back and actually take, take the lead, had a couple of set points in that third set before the Mustangs closed it out. Winning at 28-26. There's Danny Wong. He is perfectly fine. Now Vite will come back into the front row as VR Cordero will come out, the libero, and Danny Wong back to serve. His Vikings down by a point. Flexen uses the left hand. 24th kill of the match for Flexen. Talked about it at the beginning of the match. Flexen's hitting percentage on the season, 418. Number one in the country. 4.33 kills per set for Flexen. That was Flexen serving there. That is sixth in the country. That hit from Valdez goes into the net, so the point goes to Masters. But sixth in the country in kills per set for Nolan Flexen. 6'10 freshman out of Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And it's that fine line the servers ride, isn't it? It's between a service error and an undefendable 
serve. Galili knows that as well. He has got a great serve. See if he'll unleash it right here. Maybe next time. Van Gron again. That's going to be long. And it's back to a point difference. Seltzer. Nice. Vite went for the wrong. He went to the fake on that play, and that opened it up, opened up the court for Seltzer. Will Avera serving. Masters up by two. Out, just out. Great decision from Byron Valdez. Nicholas Lima serving. He's got an ace tonight. 17 now on the season. Seltzer, the back set. Tipped over. Now Van Gronigan works it off of the block. Boy, Braden Van Gronigan is brilliant at the net when he does that. Gives the Mustangs a two-point lead. Ezra Moore in to serve for the Masters. Valdez blocked by Brett Norcus. The block has, was strong in the first set. And that's only the second block since. See it here. Valdez winding up in the perfect positioning for Brett Norcus, the senior. Three-point lead, Masters. Valdez again. And I think one of the Mustangs goes into the, was into the net, and they were going to call Brett Norcus for being into the net. By the way, Gonzalez back in. He's been setting the last couple of sequences for Grandview. Adalberto. Back to serve, Eric VR Cordero, the libero. Van Gronigan. And there's going to be. Uh, now there's confusion. Overpass finally taken care of by Danny Wong. But there's going to be a discussion, I think, because. The line judge was saying that the ball, and I'm not sure against which side, but he was claiming that the ball, that it was on the wrong side of the antenna. And some of the bench on Grandview was saying, and the point's going to go to the Masters. And now Coach Nogueda having a conversation. And Shannon Macias giving him the explanation, but the decision is against Grandview, and it's going to be the point to Masters. Now Adalberto Gonzalez having a discussion with Jared Gibson, and he likes the, de the decision, so we'll continue on as Masters gets the point, and Van Gronigan serving. Good serve. Van Gronigan with the, the receive of that rocket, that missile under the shoulder of Byron Valdez. And Matthew Ham almost was able to go up into the stands. He had to negotiate a couple of toddlers over there to try to get around them before he could get to the ball. I don't think that worked out so well. For Matthew, toddlers are fine. Happy to report. Meyer serving. Flexen, overpass, and Flexen puts it down, his 25th. It gives the Masters 
a three point lead four to go now Diego Perez I wish he was healthy one of the better servers in the country quick set to Danny Wong and the difference is two as Byron Valdez will go back to serve Flexen has tied his career high at 26. Masters back up by three. The power that time for Flexen. The splits for Valdez. And Matthew Ham to serve. Quick set to Danny Wong. Second time that has worked in the last couple of sequences for Grandview. As VR Cordero will come out, going into the front row will be Vate, and then coming in to serve now, Dalton Denclaw, as Danny Wong will come out. Two point difference. Flex in. Good. New career high for Nolan Flexen. 27 kills for the freshman. And he's done it. Committing just five errors. Timeout called by Grandview. But Flexen now hitting 6-11 in this match. 27 kills, a new career high against just five errors. Again, a reminder, tomorrow night, Grandview will travel to Costa Mesa, California, and they will take on the number one team in the NAIA, the Vanguard Lions, 6 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Central time. And for the Mustangs, they'll be hosting William Penn, the statesman from Iowa, will be coming. That'll be tomorrow night, 6 o'clock Pacific, and again, 8 o'clock Central time. So make your plans to join us. We certainly appreciate you spending the time tonight to watch this great match. It has been a good one. Exactly what we anticipated it would be. Great hitting, great setting, great serving. Mustangs hitting 459. Grandview hitting 295. Each team has seven aces. Masters with 56 kills and 11 errors. Grandview, 50 kills, 19 errors. Blocks, each team with four. Nolan Flexen serving. That's going to be an overpass. Back set to Seltzer. Blocked. Vate. Difference is two. And now back to serve Daniel Galili for the Vikings. Back setting to Seltzer. Galili with the dig. Lima, dug by Perez. Van Groningen, out, no touch, point Vikings. Twenty three twenty two Masters with the one point lead. We saw this happen in the third set. The Vikings came back at this point. Out and we're tied at twenty three. Three straight points for Grandview. Timeout Masters. I've mentioned it before, it's deja vu all over again. This is exactly what happened in that third set when the Vikings were able to come back and they had set point twice Masters 
able to come back and win it 28 to 26. But now we're tied at 23 in the fourth. As we come out of the timeout, Daniel Galili continuing to serve. Grandview has scored the last three points to tie this set at 23. Van Gronigan off the block, picked up by Viar Cordero. Back setting to Seltzer, blocked out, point Masters. Match point for the Mustangs. Will Avera serving. Blocked by Brett Norcus to win the match for the Mustangs, getting the fourth set 25 to 23 the Mustangs will improve to 10 and 4 overall the Vikings will drop to 16 and 6 again a reminder Grandview off to Costa Mesa to take on the Vanguard Lions number one in the country that will be tomorrow night at 6 o'clock Pacific 8 o'clock Central the Masters will be right back here at the MacArthur Center to host the William Penn Statesman 6 o'clock Pacific time 8 o'clock Central time so for all of us associated with the Masters University Athletics, I'm Dave Caldwell. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, and we will see you again next time.